This time on Road and Race, the toughest bolts yet. This morning the car sounds like this. Not good. Sounds like a flappy noise. I think it's coming from the exhaust. Getting under the car, the exhaust looked in great shape considering it's 15 years old, so I wondered where the noise was coming from. On closer inspection, the nut or whatever was holding the exhaust manifold to the catalytic converter had rusted away, so there was nothing holding them together tightly anymore. Exhaust gases were escaping and making the gasket flap, thus creating the horrible noise. As I like to try tackling everything myself on my driveway, I naively thought I could simply remove the three bolts, replace the gasket and fit the new nuts and bolts. One hour max, I thought. I was wrong. After three hours cutting with a Dremel and trying to hit the bolts out of a punch and hammer, I was getting nowhere. So I hit the box to forums. Turns out, they are not ordinary bolts. They are splined studs press-fitted into the exhaust flange. These studs are wider at one end, thus when they are press-fitted, they make a tight seal. I'm often asked what I find the hardest part of being a home mechanic. So far I'd say it's something like this. Trying to remove something that's rusted away, such as a nut that has no head or bolt that's sheared. It turns out this problem is a common fault with Boxster and other Porsches. The exhaust itself continues to be just fine for many years, but the six nuts that hold it all together rust away. I needed a way to get this fixed, but didn't want to take it to a garage and have someone else work on the car. So today I've travelled to Oxford to visit a self-service garage. Um, they're called This Is Your Garage and um, they basically allow you to rent lifts so you can get under the car and do things you wouldn't be able to do on your driveway. So um, I'm about to go inside now and uh, try and fix my exhaust. A lift costs £15 an hour and I also book some of Adam, the on-site mechanic's, time to help. To get better access we remove the rear bracing piece. We then use the grinder to get the last bits of stud I was unable to remove with the Dremel. At this stage we were able to get the exhaust apart but the studs were still stuck fast. Vice grips were no help here so we used the grinder to cut off the newly exposed parts of the studs. Then a bit of brunch provided by the owner David. By this stage we were able to use a hammer and punch to get the top stud out. To get better purchase on the two lower studs we bolted the top hole up. They still refused to move with the punch or air hammer though. So we had to resort to drilling them out. The key to successfully drilling out bolts is to use high pressure with low speed. You should also regularly apply a drilling oil to keep the drill bit from overheating. So using a slow speed on the drill and pushing as hard as we could, we started. The stud is 8mm so we started with an 8mm bit to mark out the centre point, then move down to a 4mm bit to start the drilling in earnest. These studs are really hard and took 10 minutes just to get through one. Once finally through we had to step up to a 5 5.5 then 6mm drill bit to make the hole gradually bigger. We were finally able to get the last bit out with the air hammer. I just want to say again these studs are really hard. It took two hours start to finish to get them out and it was very tiring. Next we fitted a new gasket and fitted the new nuts and bolts. Here's a look at all the tools we used. I didn't film it but we did try using a G-clamp to press the studs out but that didn't work. We were running out of time and even though the other side of the exhaust needs doing as well, it's not blowing just yet so we decided to leave that for another time. I think I will investigate using heat to get the studs out next time. If you found this video useful please subscribe and hit the like button as it helps us make more shows. Also please hit the share button to let other people know about the show. If you have any questions or suggestions for future shows please leave a comment. For notification and news about the show you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. All the tools and parts we use are listed on our website. Click the suggested box at the top of the screen now to watch the next video in this series. Thanks for watching.